Welcome back, True Seeker. It is May 2nd, 2022. It's the 11-year anniversary of the supposed assassination of Osama bin Laden and Operation Neptune Spear. And on this 11-year anniversary, we're hearing about threats coming from Russia of annihilation of the UK with nuclear warfare with a new Poseidon nuke. And again, Operation Neptune Spear and Astrology, Neptune is Poseidon. I I did say that we'd probably see something like this, some kind of story like this on the 68th day of the conflict, which today is, just like how I predicted there'd be some kind of nuclear scare on the 68th day of the year, which there was at Chernobyl. And if you can believe it, the man who made this threat, he just turned 68 years old. He has the same birthday that was the day of Chernobyl in 86. And again, the threat comes and is the big news story on the 68th day of the conflict. And the reason 68 matters so much to nuclear energy and nuclear weapons is because in Gematria, nuclear weapon and nuclear energy equals 68. And as you recall, the Hanford site, the first nuclear energy site in the world, it began development on the 68th day of 1943. That was March 9th, 43. This year on March 9th, We had the scare at Chernobyl. They said the plant was disconnected and this could lead to, you know, all sorts of nuclear hazards. Let's not forget that this whole military conflict began on February 24th, 2022, a date with 68 numerology. And if you're new here, both World War I and World War II began on 68 date numerology. Of course, World War II ended pretty much with a nuclear explosion on August 6th, another date that can be written 6 slash 8. But again, these numbers aren't arbitrary. The, the letter written by Albert Pike about three world wars was dated August 15th, 1871, the 337th birthday of the Jesuit order, which is the 68th prime number. And of course, we were just in Oklahoma City for the anniversary of the explosion there, which happened on the 337th day of the Pope's age at the time, which was another massive 68 ritual and another big explosion. But again, he said, watch for the 68th day of the, the uh, conflict for the for the n- nuclear scare, just like the 68th day of the year. And, and Check one, check two, both right on cue, but then adding insult to injury. Again, this threat comes from Russian TV personality Dmitry Kislyov, who just turned 68 on April 26th, which is the day of the Chernobyl meltdown. And again, the nuclear scare in Russia on the 68th day of the year was at Chernobyl. So, uh, you know, the only other thing to point out is is the threat is with a Poseidon nuke. And, And again, Poseidon is Neptune in astrology. It was Operation Neptune Spear that supposedly killed Osama 11 years ago to the day. And he's blamed for the Master 11 ritual, September 11, 2001, where the towers that look like an 11 came down in the 11th state, New York, on the 11th day of the month after Flight AA-11 began the ritual. 11 years to the day of George H.W. Bush giving his speech about a new world order, a world free or a terror, when he was the 11th director of the CIA. But, um, again, Operation Neptune Spear, we're talking about the whole nuclear thing. Remember, in 1968, 68, World Trade Center construction began. 911 was made the national emergency dialing code. George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones from his July 6th birthday to September 11th is the 68th day of his age each year. And on the World Trade Centers, a big part of the architecture was the trident, which is the Spear of Poseidon, Operation Neptune Spear, to get rid of bin Laden. And again, from Obama taking office to Osama being killed was the first day of the 119th week of Obama being in office. And don't forget what they did 119 days after Putin's birthday this earlier this year. They said Russia was planning a false flag to start a conflict in Ukraine. And, and don't forget what's on Ukraine's coat of arms, the trident. Ukraine's coat of arms is the trident. And um, this was a headline from the mainstream media at the start of this. What to know as Russia attacks Ukraine with three-pronged assault. Three-pronged like a trident. And um, again, trident, World Trade Center, in case you're not aware of this. It's easy to look up, but I know a lot of people, they don't want to look up things. They just want to deny them and act like they're not out there. 
But again, this was the architecture of the World Trade Center. Here's the uh, World Trade Center's current website, Trident True Symbolism. And again, they put out this article on September 4th, 9-4. World Trade Center equals 94. Neptune equals 94. It opened in history on the 94th day of the year. Of course, the word terror is also 94. The word terror, when you run it the other way, is also 68. And um, again, Ukraine coat of arms. The trident. So the, the rituals couldn't be any more clear. A uh, recent Hollywood movie that equals 68. Aquaman. You know, tribute to Poseidon. Movie that begins with a false flag if you've never seen it. If you've never seen Aquaman, it begins with a false flag to start a war. You know? So. And, and for the record, if I didn't say so already, Poseidon equals 119. Neptune's 94, Poseidon is Neptune, World Trade Center 94, they come down on 11-9, they go up on the 94th day of the year, it all started in 68, so, and remember, it's the Jesuits behind all these rituals, the threats against the Jesuit-controlled UK, where the Prime Minister's door at 10 Downing Street, above it is the stained glass with the Jesuit Order's logo in it, let's not forget Catholicism equals 68. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep this one short and sweet. Hopefully that way more people watch it. But, again, you, you learn gematria. You understand that English is the language of the world. The Gregorian calendar from the Catholic Church that gave us the language. The calendar of the world. And you'll just see, day after day, the way the rituals line up. Why we're able to call them out before they happen. It's the same stuff over and over and over and, um, again, not, al not only did we predict the 68s and these type of headlines, but they, they really put it in your face by having it, you know, having the threat come from a guy who just turned 68 on the anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. When, again, on the 68th day of this year, the story was the scare at Chernobyl. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. And, um. Again, TFR coming up Wednesday night. We're going to have Chris Emery with us, who put out the film A Noble Lie about the destruction of the Oklahoma City building. And um, I think it'll make for an interesting conversation. So we'll leave it there for now. Thank you for everyone who hit the like. And uh, until next time, True Seeker.